I am indeed. I am sitting with some Egyptian geese down at Gauri Dam, and we're just marveling at how little water is left. And on a day like today that's windy and hot, that water is disappearing at a rate of knots. You can see the little pan that was on the right-hand side there has now officially dried up. There's just mud, no longer any water there, so that's in the last three days that that's dried. And we'll find that the rest of Gauri Dam is going to decrease rapidly over the next little bit. If we keep temperatures like this and wind like this, this dam is not going to last very long. And I wonder if that's why we're not seeing as many elephants around here. That water is no longer sort of clean. It's, it's not very much of it. It's quite muddy. So I think that's why the Ellies have decided probably not to come down as much to this area. So it is a bit desolate and dry at this stage. There are the odd birds around. You can see a few impalas that came drifting down to have a drink on the right hand side there but they have now moved off and into the shade. I think they're going to desperately seek some sort of shelter there. But it amazes me how quickly this has dried. It really is. And if I think about two months ago we couldn't even drive between the dam wall and the water and it was this big kind of lake and now it's just this little puddle in the middle. It also shows you how well Buffelsuk Dam and Treehouse Dam have, and Twin Dams have survived this dry season. Far better than Gauri Dam. I wonder if it's because Gauri Dam has had just that much more elephant pressure than the others. I don't know because the elephants obviously also drink a lot and we know we've had a number of big herds coming down to Gauri Dam to drink. It is going to be a good place though for a bit of wallowing. I wouldn't be surprised we get the odd buffalo if there are any buffalo even left in the Kruger National Park or elephants even rolling around in that. They'll like that. Warthogs, they'll enjoy this muddy section as well. Well, I wonder, uh, it's a very good question. I spoke to Rickson about it the other day. Um, in terms of pumping water into the nest cam pan, the small little pan over there, um, they, he said to me that they were going to do it, so that was a month ago already, so I'm not sure why there's no water going in there at the moment. Maybe there's an issue with the pump, or they're waiting for this water to dry out, I'm not quite sure, but they do need to start pumping fairly soon. Ah, what's that flying over there, Seb? It looks like a pale form Wahlbergs. Is it a pale form Wahlbergs? That'll be nice if it is. Oh, it's flying away from us, of course. Uh, turn, 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 turn for me. It looks like a Wahlberg's eagle. It's got a very long rectangular tail there. You can see as it's turning, and it's got quite white underneath. So it does look like a pale form Wahlberg's. It is a pale form Wahlberg's that is flying away. So there we go. So I remember, James, you were asking me yesterday whether the pale form is back. And there it is. So that's our pale form Wahlberg's that is arrived back just in time for when you were asking and off it goes into the wind and behind the marula tree and over the lodge so that's really great news to see I'm very happy about that that's very very cool nice well done Seb so that's a good bird to see what a way to finish off our morning nothing better than a pale form Wahlbergs to brighten one's day and that's I'm sure the pair now is back because we saw the dark form and now the pale form so i'm sure this is our twin dams pair that is back now and hopefully they'll be prepping the next